Uh, hey, yo, what's up, gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Blitzen Tower, and this is a public service announcement to go clean your room because I know that a bajillion of you guys probably do not clean your room, and your room is very, very messy. Anyways, um, I've started cleaning my room lately. Or well, like, yes, actually, no, like two days ago, I I cleaned my room last Sunday. It's Tuesday today. Um, so, you see what happened was, um, I had gone back from the gym, and I was doing absolutely nothing all day, while my parents, they were watching some movies in the lounge, and I felt sad, because I was, I had nothing to do, and my room was in shambles, and it was not a nice environment. So, what I like to do when I'm feeling down, is cleaning my room, because it's not, it's, it's, it's not that good to have, um, like a, a messy, disgusting room, and you're feeling. <coughs> because you see, something I've noticed is that like it's 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 never good to have a very messy room while you are feeling very messy yourself. So clean your room, and and it will be a v better environment. Um, just and it it's nicer. It's nicer. Um. Another reason why you should clean your room is because it keeps you occupied. You see, like, because you could be, like, bored out of your mind and you're just like, oh my god, when's this day gonna end? I want to go to sleep. I just want this day to end. Please, I want tomorrow to come. But then, if you're cleaning your room and you get, like, really early into cleaning your room, right? Then it'll be like, oh my god, I don't want this day to end. I wish there were more hours in the day. There's so much to do. There's so much to do. Because, like, there's literally so much to do sometimes. <laughs> like, and, and you think to yourself, like, oh my god, how am I ever going to have time to make my bed and take the trash out and organize my dressers and, and add in another workout session and 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 clean and spray and wipe everything and put everything back and that kind of stuff because like it, it does take quite a while and you did get quite lost in cleaning your room it's very fun and i enjoy it um yesterday when i was cleaning well, like two days ago when i cleaned my room i took out like this massive trash bag i'm not exaggerating by the way the trash bags are massive like it was an entire like garbage bag and i filled everything up to the brim with just old stuff it was mainly just like old fabric scraps that i hold on because like you see i am somewhat of a hoarder I do keep every single fabric scrap, but that's actually not. I don't anymore, because um, guess what? I've decided that I don't need to hold on to tiny little bits of fabric, because like, what am I going to use that for? I can't sew anything out of that. But like, you see, it was mainly just like really tiny slivers of fabric that you literally cannot use. Well, I mean, I guess you could use them as stuffing, but I don't really sew stuffed things. And it was impractical and just, yeah, d don't, don't kill me for throwing away my fabric scraps, please. They were taking up so much space, um, in my closet. And then I packed away all of my clothes, I reorganized them. Now, hey, guess what? My dress can shut properly. I threw away all of the clothes that were just, well, like, I didn't throw them away. I gave them to my mother and be like, hey, mom, what do I do with these clothes? To all of the clothes that do not fit me because they are way too massive for me, um, what else did I do? All of those old, like, just cut up random tiny, random little pieces of garbage. Those things are away. Candy wrappers. Those are in the garbage now. Old books from my old school. Because, like, when am I ever going to go back to that school? Never. Never. So, yeah. Um, bye-bye memories. Am I actually not? You get to hold on to memories. You don't need, like, I don't, I personally do not need physical copies of random books that I'm never going to use. That just takes up space. And plus, like, my family and I, what if we, like, decide to, like, travel or, so, or like, move or something? You know, I can't have all of that luggage, like, all of this, st it, it, it takes up room. You feel me? And then I had to organize all of my dressers and 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 my makeup and my it, it's fun you should do it it's really fun and then after i finished all of that 
I turned on some more jammy music and then I did some more working out because that's fun. And I, I, I'm also trying to make it a habit to put things back where they're supposed to go. Instead of just being like, oh yeah, I'll do that later. Because guess what, you don't end up doing it. Well, I don't end up doing it later. So I've just been like, oh no, stop being lazy, Tower. Just pack your things away. And so that's what I've been doing. And it's actually going really well. I'm going to try and keep it up. It takes two weeks to make or break a habit. I'm going to be doing this for two weeks. I'm going to stick with it. I love sticking with things. You see, sometimes it's very hard for me to stick with things. But other times, sticking with things leads into hyperfixations. Which I'm hoping being tired. Like, I, I'd like to have a nice positive hyperfixation. Oh yeah, guys, we had parent-teacher interviews today. Um, all of the teachers, all of them said that they, I, that I was doing very, very well. And also today in social studies class, the social studies teacher, we had to do this poster about um, earthquakes, like a newspaper poster about like earthquakes and natural disasters and stuff. Um, social studies teacher lady, she gave me an excellence. She said that mine was the best one. And she even showed it off to the class saying that this is what she expects of people because it's perfect. And that made me feel very happy because it's nice knowing that and also I got excellence on my math test and the teacher did used one of my worksheets as the the correct answer thing that he used to mark every, every that he used to mark everyone else's work and that made me happy I like it when my stuff is used as examples it's nice um also we had fish for dinner fish with salad i like the salad it's tasty also something i've noticed is that i don't really care for meat anymore i mean i'm never gonna turn vegan or vegetarian or whatever because meat it is tasty but salad i'm always just like oh salad i don't even need it with aioli anymore usually i just i when i eat dinner or whatever it's kind of gross when my foods touch. It's either they need to be touching or they need... It's either they can't be touching or they need to be mixed all together. And then I eat the salad first. And then the meat. And it's, it's nice. And also you need a lot of tomato chutney for meat. Because that's tasty. Actually, what if I just stop using the sauces and stuff? Because really, it's just a whole lot of more calories and stuff. Oh yeah, guys, do you like this pillow that I made? I made this years ago. I'm not sure why I'm showing it off. But it's so cool. I love the ferret with bats on it. Anyways, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all these updates. Bye-bye.